Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to learn how we can install Eclipse IDE for Java developers. As you know, as a Java developer or as a person who works with Java, you need a tool in order to be able to write your Java codes. Of course, there are some different tools, but in this video, we try to install uh, Eclipse IDE. So let's go and let's do it. We open the browser and we type Eclipse. After that, we press enter. Here you get some links and here you see that this one is eclipse.org. We click on that. Now, after opening the website, we go to the download part. And here we have get Eclipse IDE. We click on download and after that we will be redirected to the download file. We click here one more time on download and after that the package Eclipse IDE uh, will be downloaded on our Windows machine and we just wait until it will be totally uh, downloaded and after that we go further with the uh, installation. So now it is downloaded. We just click on that. I minimize the browser. And here is the Eclipse installer. So now we have some options here. It depends on what do you want to install. For example, the first one, Eclipse IDE for Java developers, or if you have stuffs with C or C++, are you want or if you you are a uh, PHP developers so it depends on what you want to do in this case we want to install Eclipse IDE for Java developers so I click on that and after that we go to the installation here it say us where the Java virtual machine is in your case it will be uh, it will be maybe something else, this directory. It depends on where do you have installed your Java package on your machine. In this case, I've installed it here. So I get that and it will be the, the folder. So you just, um, if you want, you can change them. But as I said here, must be the directory that you have installed your Java package on your machine. And after that, you just click on install and we wait until it will be installed. Now here installation completed successfully. Uh, and we get this icon, Eclipse ID for Java developers. And here we can launch it. This is the workspace. All of your Java projects, your Java programs will be installed here. If you want, you can of course change it. If not, you can let it as it is. I don't do it and I just click on launch. Now, here is the Eclipse workspace. You see that we have some options here. So you don't need it, you just, sorry. So we have some options here. And here are the overviews, the tutorials, the samples, what is new for Eclipse, and so on. Now, um, suppose that you want to create your first Java project. You can click here, create a new Java project. I just click on that. And after that, you have to set a name for your project. We say, for example, hello, or my project, or whatever you want and we click on next we go further here use an execution environment you can change it if you want you see that we have some options here it depends on which version of 
uh, Eclipse IDE you have installed, so I let it as it is. Or if you want to um, to use a specific version of Java, you see that on my machine I've installed JDK version 80. So if you want, and I just have only this version of Java, if you want that uh, to, to use this package that you have installed in your machine, so you can select, he select this option for that. Or you can just let it as it is. And uh, because Java comp, uh, Eclipse comes with this package. So I select this option because I've installed it here and I click on next. Now, um, here the default output folder Hello, it will be bean and you just click on finish the module name if you want to have a module name you can um, create it if you don't want it you just can create on don't create so I don't want this module it will be uh, information about uh, a module in information module so I don't create it and after that you see that we are here now you can uh, you make a right click on your project it is the project that we have just created and this is the package here you see that we just make a right click on that we go to new and after that class so here you have to select a name for your class hello we don't want to learn java programming but the name of the class must be identical with the name of the project and here you can also select this option here if this class will be public or will be whatever it is we don't want to talk about uh, programming right now and you select this public static void main this is the, uh, the main method in each and every java class and each and every java program so you select it and you click on finish now you see everything will be everything is here and uh, you can type your codes uh, here that uh, that you want so that's it i hope that um, you like it